Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Look what I got for Christmas. Check that out. It's a tuxedo apron. Loving it, huh? I also got this uh, woolly hat. Sorry, I'm just jumping straight into this. But well, it's woolly hat. So we're going to wear this on the video. Um, yeah, I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and Boxing Day. If you call it Boxing Day, that's the day after Christmas Day. That's what we call it in the UK. Some people don't call it that. Uh, we have got this amazing dish that we're going to do today, all in one griddle pan. And I got for Christmas this chocolate seasoned uh, sort of glaze. Like that. And my sister got it for me. So uh, thank you, sis, for that. We're going to get on and make this right now. Yeah. Right here, let's show you the ingredients before we crack on. Okay, just want you to hit pause on the video about now. It's all good. I hope you're liking the colour fest right here. Red and yellow peppers, carrot sliced into like a twiggy thing, some monge too, which is French for je m'appelle Barry. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, some white button mushrooms, some sprigs of thyme, an onion which has just been diced, and some steak, which I've just, it was actually a slice of steak and I've just sliced it into little cubes. Or you could just buy like cubed or diced steak casserole, same thing, it's all good. It's all nice and tasty, yum. We're gonna sound the same way, right? Okay, homemade balsamic dressing, that's all good there. I've done a video on how to make that if you're interested. You know, just go check it out, up to you. Do you want to do it? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, a bag of salad, which we just got from the shop, and also some egg noodles. I'm going to add that in as well. It might turn a little bit stir fry by doing that, but it's going to make it a bit more filling for Mrs. Barry and the, and the baby in the belly. <laughs> okay, so we're all here ultimately for the chocolate seasoned steak thing, okay? Hotel Chocolat, um, which is an amazing uh, British sort of chocolatier, British, various, uh, English, uh, you know, whatever, all the same thing, right? And they do this thing. These massive chocolate slabs, and Mrs. Barry loves them, so I went and bought her one for Christmas Day. So I wrapped it and it looked like that. It doesn't look like that normally, but I put it by the radiator, didn't I? So we're going to the shops tomorrow, I'm going to buy a new one, and we're going to take back about 10 of the presents I got her, because I kept the receipts, and <laughs> she didn't like them. We'll get over it, okay? I also got um, this pepper grinder. Look at the size of that. Wow, it's kind of like it could be like one of those flash guys in Italy, though. Looks kind of like a nuclear reactor, though, doesn't it? It's not massive. A little bit intimidating. Yeah. Um, my sister also got me this whoop ass uh, Cabernero chicken wing sauce. Me ha, partner! Uh, right there. I've never made sort of chicken wing recipes or anything like that, so maybe we'll do that sometime. And last but not least, the sister also got me some slinger. No, sorry, slinger. That sounds a bit, um, a bit dirty, doesn't it? A slinger. Stinger. Dark and strikingly hot chili chocolate. Let's have a piece of this. It's the first time I've ever taken a bite out of it, and then actually, look, that's not very good value, is it? Let's have a go. Whoa. Go on, blimey. Oh, that is actually quite strong. I let that go down. <coughs> and we're gonna get a griddle pan on the heat. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. We're gonna get a griddle pan on the heat. And I'm gonna get a glass of water. What's the milk? <coughs> I can't tell you how hot that chocolate was. I didn't realize it was gonna be that bad. I was like, yeah, chili chocolate. I've had chili chocolate before. But that was some pretty hard, like maybe ghost chilies in there. So that was made by, um, sorry, uh, the gorgeous gorges.co.uk or uptonchili.co.uk, okay? So uh, go check that out if you're interested. Anyhow, I've got myself my hob onto a flame like this. You see that there? Yes, my hob onto a flame. Does that make sense? No, this chili's making me insane. Okay, so it's onto flame. Got to watch out for my dangly bits getting set on fire. Get your griddle pan nice and hot like that. Get some olive oil in there first of all. And then we're going to work on our veg, baby. Okay, there we go guys, I've just added a tablespoon of olive oil in that pan, you can just see it swirling around there, not too much, not too little, just leave it there like that. I had to be careful when I poured it in there because of my toggles, I'm not really sure what these are called, I'm just going to call them toggles on my hat, um, although they do make me look kind of like a Viking. Uh, yeah, we're going to stop that now. Uh, so yeah, be careful when you're doing that, but obviously don't wear the hat. So we're going to do our butch vegetables first of all, like the carrots and the peppers, because it takes a little bit harder to break it down. And by the way, I want to dedicate this video to Holly Brooks, okay? Um, I had a message from one of your friends who you says you're actually a big fan, you like my videos, and just liking the videos is enough. Um, but unfortunately you were in hospital uh, over some of the Christmas period, so I hope you feel better, Holly. And this video is for you. I love you. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my carrots and peppers there, I'm just going to pour those in. Cool. They're going to cook away, I'm going to stir around, make sure they start to soften and stuff. Now the good thing I like about griddle pans is that you can sort of control it in the middle bit with like the racky bit, as well the heat is, but if you push it to one side, it, you know, you can play with it, you can just sit there and do its thing, and that's how we're going to integrate the steak. 
I don't know why I'm doing that with my hands. That's how we're gonna integrate the steak in with this, okay? So we're gonna push them to one side once the vegetables are done, and sit in our meat right at the end. Loving it. Okay, so the peppers and carrots, love them, care for them, give them the time they need, okay? That's literally only been about three or four minutes. You can see it's starting to darken on certain areas there. If I turn it around, look, look at that, it's starting to go. That's what we want. Because the carrots in particular, they'll get you. Because you'll wanna try and bite into them, and it will snap like Bugs Bunny. You don't want that. So let me show you the tap right now. This is my tap, let's just turn that on, cha-ching. And the bag of salad, straight from the supermarket. As you can see, I've already started to wash it. I just wanna show you, this is what I do. Just you shove it straight under the tap, like that. Fill it up a little bit, and then just grab it, like this. Rather than using like a big mixing bowl, you just go like that, shake it up, make sure it doesn't explode, and then you put it in your mixing bowl like that. So it's all good, keep your eye on that, keep shaking your salad, and that's it. Oh, remember to turn your tap off. Okay folks, it's been another two minutes, I chucked in the mushrooms and the monge too, so in their entirety, the carrots and the peppers just on their own, probably about five or six minutes max, and then chuck the other stuff in, because they're still going to cook away, but try and get your mushrooms, like that, and your monge too, into the middle of the pan as much as you can, okay, because that's where the heat is, I'll get that a bit closer in a minute off the camera. Anyhow, as you can see, the salad that I just washed, I put in a bowl like that, just literally grabbing it straight out, in there, that's some rocket and watercress mixed together if you're interested, pouring my dressing straight on top, not too much. Now if you get your hands in there, maybe add some croutons if you want, but just coat it there like that. If you put too much balsamic dressing on, you will make a face that looks like this. <laughs> just to warn it. Okay folks, this is what I'm talking about with the griddle pan. The heat is right here, I'm pushing the vegetables to the side, they're still keeping warm, it's all good. I'll push the mushrooms up there, they need a little bit more heat, but this gap here, first of all we'll just get our onions in there, like that, that's all good. They will not take very long at all, around about two minutes max, just to soften up. And then we'll get the meat in with it as well. It's all coming together in one pan. <laughs> okay, so just finished spooning the vegetables to the side there. The mushrooms all softened. The onions, they were just like, I'm in here, baby. Boom. They are like super fast suntanned. Let's get you up here so you can see it out of the way nice and safely. You see that all right? Can you see me? Good. Okay, so here is my meat going in. Obviously, this is a vegetarian's nightmare, but you don't have to have it. Now, you could season the meat in anything you want. Obviously, we're using the chocolate glaze, but if you wanted to, you could like marinate it beforehand. It's all good. So just stir this all in, make sure it's all broken down. Get it onto that hot spot there. We'll flip it over. Cook it for as long as you like as well. Ugh, watch out for my toggles. Cook it for as long as you like as well. If obviously you want it medium rare or rare or well done. Well done, you cook it in there for a good six or seven minutes at least. Rare, don't even cook it. Just eat it straight in your mouth. Yeah. In all seriousness, guys, seriousness, seriousness, if you want it medium rare or rare, just literally gonna be about 30 seconds to a minute. Look, this has actually only been in there a minute. You can see how well done that is. Only a little bit of pink left. So pretty much 30 seconds, just blast it in there. But I like mine well done, and particularly Mrs. Barry being pregnant. It's gonna be well done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, check that out. It's all mingled together now. It's dancing in there. The meat is all cooked, which is the main thing. Now I'm gonna open this sachet right now so you can see it. I have no idea whether it's gonna be a powder or a liquid or something like that. Let's have a look. Get it open. Can you see that in there? Can you see it? It's kind of like granules. Okay, so let's pour amount on. Let's go for half the pack. Oh my goodness, wow. Just to let you know, it's not just chocolate on its own in there. There are some other sort of herbs and things in there to give it a little bit of a kick. But, oh my goodness, that really is chocolatey. Wow. Stirring this through. I have got my time sprigs with herbs in it. Let's just pour that in there. We do want to remind it that it is like savory and it's not sweet. It's not just all about the chocolate. It's not about the chocolate. And I just shoved that on there. Sorry. Okay, so that's all stirred in. It's looking very dark now. So I'm gonna liven it up with a little bit of the egg noodles. Not too many, just enough. It's not a stir fry, but I just wanna get them coated because they're fresh egg noodles. They're only gonna take about two minutes to warm through. Get them all nice and coated. Yeah. Okay, folks, so with that all stirred through, that is what it's looking like. It's kind of cool. It smells like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory in here right now, even though I've never been there, but it smells like how I would imagine it to smell like. Let's just get it on a plate, and I'll tell you what it tastes like. Yeah. Right, here, so I've got myself a nice bowl like that. It's looking good. You could actually cook the egg noodles separately and then stack the chocolatey meat on top and then have the salad around the side. Would have made it maybe look slightly better, but we're being a lazy one-man pan gang kind of thing, okay? So I'm just gonna spoon a load on here like so. Oh my goodness, wow. Let's get all that color in there as well on the top. That is looking good, it's smoking in here. Chocolate smoking lovingness. Oh wow, digging it. All right, that is looking beautiful right there. Lovely mixture of colors. Let's just get on our salad and dress that around the side. Oh my goodness, yes, pat that down a little bit. All good, serve anything else you want with it. I'm just gonna take a little picture for my Twitter right here. Here we go, cha-ching, boom. Let's see what the chocolate flavor does to it, baby.
Yeah. Here we go then guys, can't wait to see what this tastes like. It smells incredible in here. <laughs> like a uh, chocolate lover's dream right there. So I'm gonna just uh, get a load of it on my fork like that. Just mash it all up. You can see how hot it is. It's piping hot, still coming off there. But before I eat it, I'd just like to wish you all a very happy New Year's. And if you're watching this video sort of in a few months time and you're thinking, what? Uh, don't worry about it, but it's, it's New Year's Day in a few days. I'm actually going to Wales uh, with about 14 other good friends. So it should be a good time. Um, I hope you have a great time too. And uh, get very merry and festive. So let's uh, taste this. Oh my god. Mm. That is really, really good. It's not too overpowering, just enough. Kind of feel like I'm eating chocolate and savoury at the same time. But that's good. I am loving that right there. It's a nice balance of flavour. The time as well is just tweaking it enough. Loving it. So add any herbs you want, remember that. But ultimately, if I can make this, Absolutely anyone in the world can. Remember, I started a video number one with a poached egg, my first ever one, nearly two years ago now. And look where I am now, wearing stupid hats and showing you how to cook with chocolate and pasta. Unbelievable. I'll see you again next time. Cheers, dudes.